Get connected using hyperlinks. Most presentations are structured, and it's often useful to have a menu of sorts to guide people through it. That can be a value proposition, learning objectives, set topics, or anything that's appropriate. But to really enhance things, you can link each of your menu points to their corresponding sections, which allows you to navigate through the deck in a non-linear way and respond to your audience, only presenting what's relevant to them. And then another trick is to put small navigation buttons on each slide which allow you to jump to any section at any time so that your presentation can become much more fluid and responsive. For bonus points, use your logo as a hyperlink button on every slide to get back to the main menu. And it's really easy to do using hyperlinks. The process couldn't be simpler. Right click on any object and choose link or hyperlink. You can link to any slide in your deck a website, email address, or a document. If you select Place in this document, you can navigate to the first, last, next, or previous slide, or any specific slide in the deck using the list. It's simple to set up, but there are a couple of tricks worth knowing. What about this slide? Say you wanted a link to each of the different services on the screenshot, which is grouped with the tablet image. You can't hyperlink groups. But if you draw a box over the group, set the fill to no fill and line to no outline, you can hyperlink that invisible box. And from the user's perspective, it feels like you're clicking on the group. The same trick can be applied to a specific area of content, like parts of an image or screenshot. Draw an invisible box over the area you want to hyperlink, and then link the invisible box. This is great for creating a series of hyperlinks from a single complex image or screenshot. When you set up a hyperlink, you can copy and paste the object and the hyperlink will still be there. So for a menu slide that's repeated, hyperlink it on the first instance and then duplicate the slide rather than having to hyperlink each individual menu slide. And finally, PowerPoint is now smart enough to link to a specific slide rather than a specific slide number as it used to. This means you can add new slides in and change the order of the deck and you'll still be fine. But don't be lulled into a false sense of security with it. You can't reliably copy slides into another presentation and preserve the links or delete linked slides. That tends to mess things up. So the best approach is to do your hyperlinking last when everything else is sorted.